from More Guitars, and I am uh, was having a hard time waking up this morning until I played this thing and uh, felt the neck on this jewel. And uh, it is, I am wide awake now. It is fun to play. Holy cow. So this is a obviously a Fender Custom Shop Limited Edition Pink Paisley 68 model. And uh, <clears throat> we've waited a while for this thing because of... Uh, I don't know why, but we waited a little bit for it and it was worth the wait. So it's it, like this neck feels amazing. Um, just feels great. So w let's just get started on this thing. So obviously it is a relic. I wouldn't call it a heavy relic. Um, it isn't beat like it was drugged behind a car or anything like that, but, uh, but it is a relic for sure. So you can kind of see some of the, some of the worn and it uh, looks kind of oversprayed and things like that. Really cool, like somebody tried to do some extra work to it after the fact. Uh, obviously has the large headstock, which makes it really cool for uh, just that, f that feels from that era. Um, the, the pickups in this thing are 69 in the, in the neck pickup, a fat 50s in the middle pickup, and a Texas Special in the bridge. And I tell you, it's, it's really cool the way this thing works on all the different, tone, on different tones. Um, I'll, I'll go through the pickups here in a minute, but it's, the cool thing is, one cool thing is that whenever you go to position one, you can actually adjust the tone on the on the on the neck pick on the bridge pickup sorry um so let's hear it a little bit with the tone down a little So that's cool. That's an added thing that a lot of uh, later model fenders don't have that option. Um, the what I like is that this thing sounds great on the bridge pickup uh, as a single coil. So I'll play a little bit of that. Just some like rock metal types. Of thing. That's crushing, man. Thing sounds so good. And then here's the clean tone again on the uh, on the uh, uh, position five. That's position five. <clears throat> Let's go into position four and uh, listen to how this thing has some spank. Love that position. So then uh, going to a little bit of uh, moderate gain, moderate to a little heavier. <laughs> So 
thing just rips everywhere you put it. <clears throat> I have not tried the middle pickup yet, so let's do that for the just for the heck of it. For sure. So, <clears throat> one cool thing about this that is uh, non-tonal is the uh, it's got a slight amount of uh, flame on the fretboard. Got a pretty good amount of flame on the neck, which is really cool. Obviously, it is. I'm not going to say obviously because everybody doesn't always know, and I don't want people to uh, feel like they don't know what they're talking about. But it is a maple neck, maple fretboard, alder body which is kind of the classic combination for uh, Fender guitars. And uh, my maple and maple is my favorite on a neck and fretboard on a Fender guitar. And, and uh, this nine and a half inch radius on this thing feels really good. I, I don't like huge radiuses like 11, 12s and more because of, uh, I just, it doesn't work well for me. The other thing is this is a uh, 63 Strat style C neck which <clears throat> haven't played a boatload of these, but it feels really good. Like I'm, I'm not a big fan of great big necks and I'm not a big fan of real thin necks. So this is right in between there. I would, I would err to the side of thinner than thicker. Cause if you're thinking Les Paul or old Strat, um, you know how big those can get. Um, this is, this is more, I'd say if, if we were half, it was lean, it was halfway leaning or leaning toward thinner than, than thicker on the neck. So um, that's about it on this guitar. This thing is great. Um, it's got, it's, it's, you know, the, the, the saddles are even uh, vintageized, uh, relic, whatever you want to call it. So um, it does have a whammy bar. And it stays in tune. So that's a cool thing. Uh, one other cool thing is that Whenever you get these guitars, these custom shop guitars, it has what is called a shop floor traveler, which is actually really cool to me because it helps me do these videos. But also the cool thing for a buyer, a player, is that um, this is like the actual sheet that went through the custom shop and followed this guitar around and dudes signed off on it, and ladies probably. Um, and it's, it's just a cool thing. It's just a, a cool thing to know that you get, you know, this with your guitar. And it actually was what was held by all the, the people making this fine little instrument. <clears throat> so that's it for us today. Moreguitars.com. Um, you can grab this one. It's a limited edition, so you're not going to see any more of these. If you like it, you better snag this one. Uh, if you want to talk about it, you can call me, you can call Ed, you can call Rob. Rob's our main guy, so ask for him first. Uh, you can call, live chat, or email. Please, please, please subscribe and uh, make us like one of your, uh, your people that you watch all the time because we're always coming out with new videos, a few, anywhere between two and five or six a week. So um, we're, <clears throat> we're anxious to help people. That's what we're here for, so please call us. I don't know the phone number, but find it on here or on the website. Thank you very much, moreguitars.com.